everyone today as you can tell i'm in my car i seem to say this in every video i seem to be like as you can tell from the title or blah 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 but yeah i'm in my car today because i thought i would do a car tour i got this car recently and i absolutely love it it's my little baby um and for some weird reason i've been really obsessed with watching car tour videos recently even for cars that i don't have like fiat 500s i've just been watching them so yeah, i thought i'd film my own one today with my car my car is a black mini convertible a black mini cooper convertible so yeah i'm just gonna do like a bit of a car tour show you what's in my car um and just kind of go through it so my car is a petrol car it's a 1.6 litre engine um it's black on the outside it's convertible i don't really know what else to say about it i'm pretty sure that's it so yeah i'm now just going to show you like the insides and stuff so this is a steering wheel i obviously didn't center my wheels when i parked because it's at a bit of a weird angle um but yeah it's just got the mini logo in the middle and that's pretty much it it's just obviously got airbags and a horn um there's like nothing else on the steering wheel and then you've just got like windscreen wiper um switches there there's another one on this side but it's like blocked by this bit but yeah this one's just for your headlights i have mine on automatic headlights which is like that set setting there um it's got all the other headlights and then it's got this little button which um basically changes this which they call the onboard computer i'm actually just going to move my car because this steering wheel is at a really awkward angle because this blocks this and this blocks this so i'm gonna straighten my wheels up and come back okay so this is the onboard computer which you change with this i have mine set on like my miles per hour just because i find it easier than looking at this um but you can change it to things like the outside temperature which is actually a really nice day today um or like how many miles you've got left in your petrol tank and just things like that and yeah then just in here you've got like any like seatbelt warning lights if you don't have your seatbelt on not sure why this bit lights up but it does yes yeah, so you've got um lights here like i said mine's on automatic um that's that don't know what that is there's one on the other side i'm not really sure what it is this is air conditioning vent there's then this like little pocket here which i keep mints and a club card in but obviously you can keep whatever key thingy majig this is something to do with the lights but i can't remember what speaker there and there which is the same on the other door apparently they're both speakers um which obviously a really good brand of speakers but i'm not sure how true that is you've then got the door handle which is like a kind of semicircle, which i quite like because it's just a bit different and then there's another pocket here within the door and i just keep like an ice scraper um, and this kind of like spongy thing that if I get like condensation on my windows I just use that. The seats are then obviously leather but you'll be able to see it a bit better when I show you the passenger seat. Um, you've then got this big dial thing. So this just shows you how many miles per hour you're going. If you've got full beam on that lights up. Um, you've got the time and something else in here but I can't remember what. Um, petrol and the kind of um, engine heat type thing. This I'm not sure what it does. These are aircon. This is obviously your hazard lights. You've then got what they call the in-car engine entertainment system so you can have cds or radio i don't use that because i have like bluetooth connector which i'll show you in a second and then you've just got the aircon things um i don't really know what these are i know i've got like a heated front and back windscreen which is like an additional feature so i'm guessing these are buttons for that and then this is just the aircon button and then this is just like a recirculating button so if you have your aircon on but you're in like heavy traffic it's good to have this on because rather than using air from the outside which has like petrol fumes and stuff it just recirculates circulates the air from inside your car so i normally always have that on and then you've got the window buttons here which are quite different um to other cars because obviously they're normally on the doors so this one controls the passenger you put it down to go down and then push it up to go up and then this is the one for the driver's seat you've then got a locking button to lock the car the car does automatically lock when you start driving which i really like because i normally forget to lock my car and obviously when i'm a girl especially if i'm driving at night it's safe to have my car locked so i like that the car does that automatically but you can lock it like by yourself and then these buttons just control the fog lights pretty simple this i think is like an ipod thing within my documentation for the car it says something about like a mini ipod collaboration thing i think this is that so you could like connect your ipod to it to play like music from your ipad throughout the car but in my service history for this car this has been disconnected so i can't use it and i don't really know what it is so i just kind of ignore that and just let that be there then i just have a tub of gum and then this kind of like bin thing that came with the car i suppose you could keep like parking money or something in there obviously you can take these things out and then they're cup holders but um i have a cup holder here which i just use then here i have like a bluetooth thing so i plug this into my like cigarette lighter thing um, and connect my phone to it and then that means that i can play music from my phone through the car and then there's just like a little kind of 
pocket type storage place there i sometimes put my phone there when i'm driving you've then got the gear stick um i've got heated seats as well so these are the buttons for the heated seats there are two settings for it so i suppose it's just like hot and less hot probably and then these are just for my mirrors because they're electric you slide this either left or right for whichever mirror you want to control then there's another pocket type thing here again you could put like parking money um you've got the gear stick i don't know if i mentioned this but the steering wheel is leather as well as the seats another thing is that this car has parking sensors they're only on the back so they're for reversing but for me that's really handy i don't need them on the front and like for my drive we all reverse onto my drive so it's handy to have them on the back so yeah it's got parking sensors i wasn't that fussed about having them before i got them but now i have them i absolutely love them i think that's pretty much it for this section this water bottle is also really annoying me so i'm just going to move that then this is just the passenger side so you've got the leather seats here and um, pretty much the same door as for the drivers obviously got the glove box which i'll go through in a minute and then this is kind of like a dark gray slightly metallic because it's got like glitter in it the rest of the interior of the car is pretty much black as well as the outside but this bit is like a dark gray and then in the glove compartment there are a couple more drinks holders but i don't really know how well they would hold a drink because they're not that deep and then i've got some antibacterial surface wipes just in case i spill anything and also for my back window because the cars are convertible the back window doesn't have any windscreen wipers so it can get quite dirty so i just have these in my car in case i need to like wipe it clean so that i can see out of it properly i suppose you could find something else to use i just thought these would be the easiest thing to kind of have in my car um, and then i have another little air freshener this is one of the yankee candle ones in the scent fluffy towels and then i just have um the mini convertible handbook which i probably should read through because there are things in this car that i don't really know about and then i have this which is just like um the kind of like book thing it holds all my other documents about the car basically it also has this in it which is a little bit weird but it's a ministry of ownership passport i think it's a bit of like a gimmicky fun thing that mini do but it's like a little passport for your car and you can like fill in little details about it and put a picture of your car in and stuff and then yeah i just have some other like documentation in here um about like things about the car basically this is that ipod thing that i was talking about they've got a whole book in it and i'm pretty sure um this thing is what they're talking about with the whole ipod thing but like i said mine's been disconnected i'll see in here i just have these sweets they're just like the typical car sweets i don't know if anyone else had them when they were younger but we always used to have these see i always have these in my car i actually never eat them josh is the only person that does i kind of figure i have them actually also like an aux cord in the glove box so if you didn't want to have like bluetooth um kind of phone connection then you can get an aux cord this is obviously the passenger seat but you can just kind of see the leather seats a little bit better i really like having leather seats because you can just wipe them clean you don't have to worry about spilling anything on them then you've obviously just got like the mirror this is just an air freshener i have which is um a jelly belly vanilla one which came in my car lights um the kind of mirror things within these which i can't remember for the life of me what they're called and then here is one of the main functions of the car which is obviously to control the roof i'll go through this in a bit when i put it down but this just um puts the roof back on this takes it off and then these are buttons to control the back windows i know in most three-door cars like my old car which was a polo you can't like put the back windows down but because this is a convertible you have to have the back windows down for the roof to go down anyway so i suppose mini just thought they might as well put buttons in so you can like control it separately if you wanted so yeah that controls that and then you've just got the roof which is like a cloth roof and that obviously comes down if you want it to it's also have this like little mini logo type badge on which i quite like and then this is just the back of the car so again obviously leather seats it's only got two seats in the back my old car had three but obviously this is like a small car because it's a mini the kind of clues in the name so yeah it's just got two seats in the back and then it's got this like metal bar on the top which i actually really like i really like it aesthetically but my dad actually told me it's like a safety feature it's for like if you roll the car that basically stops your head from being crushed because i think it's taller than where your head is i don't really know but i know it's a safety feature but i quite like it the window like at the back is kind of causing this to be really weird lighting so you can't see um but yeah there's just like a little metal bar above the headrest which i really like there's another speaker in the back um there's a cup holder there i've got a wooden spoon for some weird reason and the water bottle that i just chucked back there but yeah that's pretty much it for the boot the only thing i would say about this car is this is a bit of a blind spot this part of the roof just takes up a lot of space so it is a bit hard to see out of here so you just have to make sure you use your mirrors a little bit more but obviously if you have the roof down that bit collapses and then you've got no blind spots anyway also the back window is a little bit small but you get used to it again it's a small car so it's not too much of an issue and um, mine is also heated like i said i don't really know why but it is i'm just going to get out now and show you the outside of the car but i did actually try 
try and film this video the other day um, and I filmed some clips then of like the roof coming down and the outside of the car so I'll insert them clips in here just because it's easier I probably will film a few clips now of the outside of the car as well um, so it'll be a bit of like a mixture of the other day's clips and today's clips the car's really dirty it does need a bit of a clean so I apologise um, this is the boot it's obviously quite small because you have to have space for like the roof to come down but it works for me it's pretty big like enough for me I don't really use my boots it's big enough for me um, and these bits kind of mean you can kind of have it like half open i don't really know why you'd want it like that but you can do or you can obviously have it like the full way down it's just up to you these are the wheels don't know if they're interesting um silver here silver here and then the rest is literally all black it's just what the front looks like i'm obviously trying not to get my number plate in it so yeah that's pretty much the outside i'm gonna get the roof down now just so you can see what it looks like so yeah like i said this is just how you control the roof so you press this once and it takes the roof sort of like half off to there so it's a little bit like a sunroof you can kind of have like half of it on and then half of it off or you like hold it down again the windows all go down both the front and the back and then the roof just like lifts itself off so then when the roof is down it just looks like this um i really like how it looks with the roof down i absolutely love it and obviously that's one of like the main features of the car um so the roof just like folds like that and then you can pretty much just see the car i forgot to mention this earlier but in the back you have like these um little cagey things that you can put things in and i just have this um like disinfectant spray for like my back window they're kind of the same reason for the wipes and this is just from b&m it's in the scent electrify and it's just like a disinfectant spray and i'm pretty sure it's only like 99p you can put the back windows back up if you want like when the roof's down um and these windows aren't fully up as you can kind of see there but you can put them all the way back up if you wanted but yeah that's pretty much it for my car i think that's literally everything i keep in my car and everything that i can think about about the car give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you at some point soon with another video bye